The concept of variable traits in the Rust programming language is used to automatically add some properties to a struct or an enum. Thus, some common operations or behaviors of a particular struct or enum automatically become applicable. Moreover, it makes it easier and faster to write code. Let's create a struct and show it with an example. The debug trait is typically used to print a value for debugging purposes. This trait, when used in macro calls such as println or debug, serves to display the value in a readable format in the debug output. If you try to view it without using this trait, you will get an error. When using it, we just need to drive the struct in the top line we defined. Let's show with an example. Do not forget to use columns and question marks in the println macro. This means debug printing. Another example is the clone trait. The clone trait defines a method called clone. This method creates a clone of a value and stores the original value in a new memory area without changing it. You cannot use the clone method without using this trait. If you want, let's explain with an example. Let's also derive the clone trait to fix our error. As you can see, we produced a clone with exactly the same values. Apart from this, there are many derivable traits such as default, hash, partial EQ. Moreover, there are also traits that cannot be derived such as display, but which are quite useful. Let's explore them in our next lessons.